All right, so alaikum everyone. My name is Hamira Wassel. I'm the principal at Peace Terrace Academy in Fremont, California. Um, alhamdulillah, we have a beautiful campus um, right off of the freeway on Alvarado Niles uh, as part of the Lowry Masjid. Uh, mashallah, we have about 250 students enrolled this year and about 300 students on our wait list for the upcoming <laughs> school year, inshallah. So we definitely need to expand. Um, I do want to um, reiterate Brother Omar's um, sentiments, mashallah, the fact that over the past 20 years we've seen such an immense growth in Islamic education is something to be really commended. And alhamdulillah, I hope and pray that we continue to find success. Um, over the summer I had someone ask me, when, how will you know when Islamic schools succeed? You know, what, what are some signs that you're looking for that a school has succeeded? And I know that a lot of people look at numbers and test scores and college entries. I said, I know that our community has succeeded in, um, in uh, reviving Islamic education when our children want to be teachers, when our children actually say, I really want to be a teacher instead of a doctor, engineer, or in parallel to that. Because right now, in the teaching field, we're not really doing a great amount of justice for, um, for our community. And so I want us to grow to that level, and our schools to grow to that level, where the children that are in this space are saying, I want to teach, and I want to teach at a, at a specific Islamic school, inshallah. So my time begins now. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, all right, Peace Terrace Academy. So. Um, Imam Ghazali says that knowledge of the next world according to which our predecessors walked and which God in his book called discernment, wisdom, knowledge, illumination, light, guidance, and rectitude has been quite forgotten. This is the calamity of the religion and a grave crisis. And we know that there's a lot of parallels between our time today and the time of Imam Ghazali. Zhao Kotino also says, there is no neutral education. Education is either for domestication or for freedom. And one of my favorites, John Taylor Gatto says, the primary goal of a real education is not to deliver facts, but to guide students to the truths that will allow them to take responsibility for their lives. So with these kind of principles and guidance in mind, I want to tell you a little bit about our educational philosophy at, at Peace Terrace Academy. We are transforming and have slowly transformed into a classical education uh, school. The, the vision has always been there, but it has taken a while to kind of turn the ship around from a generic kind of Islamic school that adhere to state standards to one that upholds some of the highest values that we have um, in our society. And so we are really based on the trivium, which in Latin means three roads, which is the study, as we define it, the study of the seven liberal, uh, liberal arts, employing traditional teaching insights and methods, using classic books which contain the greatest ideals of the knowledge of God, knowledge of man, and knowledge of the universe. So, the way that we do this at Peace Terrace, our philosophy in working with children is to provide them with a warm and cooperative environment. We know that when children are in a space where they're not um, frightened, where they don't have anxieties, that that's when they really learn. Uh, knowledge sinks in deeper in that, in that environment and it's absorbed within the soul and, and spirit of the child. We provide classical and intellectually stimulating content across all uh, subject areas, whether it's science or language or math. Uh, we want to make sure that our children are exposed to some of the best um, content and some of the best ideals. Um, and, and an enrichment of language, which is a very at the root of every classical school. We also have a sense of gravitas or gravity toward education and life. In today's society where everything is about frivolous actions, we want to be a school that's known for bringing that sense of gravity specifically for education and for our lives. So bringing that deeper meaning for children 
And then we have a lot of conversations on ethics, values, principles with our students, and a lot of conversations on what is truth and where do we find it and how do we know it and how do we live by it? What is goodness? Where do we find it? How do we live by it? And then essentially, what is beauty and how do we create it and how do we recognize it and how do we live by those standards? Our programs of study include, as mentioned, we have 13 areas of study. We have knowledge of God, which are the Quranic sciences, the Islamic sciences, and service learning. Knowledge of man, which consists of English composition, grammar, language, history, arts, logic, Arabic language, athletics. And then we have knowledge of the universe, which are the sciences and the maths, uh, essentially. Um, we have an early childhood center, which are the whole parrot years. And mashallah, this is the age when children discover uh, learning for the first time, discover new things. And so our early childhood center is full of hands-on activities, full of new discoveries and aha moments for the little ones. And we want to make sure that that's done in a very levy, loving and enriching environment where teachers are uh, there to surround the students with a lot of compassion and a lot of comfort. And then methods of teaching we utilize for these grades is songs, chants, jingles, lots and lots of storytelling, because storytelling is such an immense part of our tradition Islamically, and a, and a majority of the Quran contains stories. We believe in embodied learning. We believe in curiosity and wonder in those grades. We believe in the power of memorization in those early grades. Uh, Sheikh Hamza always says uh, for children to when children memorize something, it's like carving on a rock, and when adults memorize something, it's like writing on, on water or with water. Uh, and then uh, repetition, definitely. I'm going to go through these faster? Am I, am I okay? All right, I'll go faster. <laughs> the grades, which are the elementary, uh, the grammar years, children want to know what. Uh, we answer all the questions about what. Um, and then, inshallah, the methods that they learn are, again, uh, memorization, repetition, didactic construction, and coaching. And then our middle school years are the logic years when we teach the students how to think logically and process information and how to garner and uh, understand fallacies that they see in the world and fallacies that they might see in the news and the world around them, uh, as well as in the literature that they read, the information that they read, and so on. We also have an amazing HIVT program that's kind of uh, together with our, um, with our academic program where students attend their English and math classes, but then they also go to uh, memorization of HIVT, mashallah. So far we've had, since we started the program, we have had 18 Hafad graduate from the program. The program is for bo both girls and for boys, and alhamdulillah it's been a, such a source of blessing to walk in the campus and hear the students reciting every day. So lastly, outcomes of a Peace Terrace Academy graduate. We have our Esslers, which are faith, um, character, knowledge, and community. We see that our faith informs all of the other areas of our life. We want our children to embody character. We want them to have sound knowledge with which they can be equipped to deal with uh, the world's uh, ailments and issues. And then we want them to have a very strong sense of community and understand that fostering a strong community leads to strength. These are, for those of you that really like scores and, and charts, <laughs> I added a few charts. Our students, uh, these are our MAP testing scores. Our students performed, 70% of our students in math performed at the 90th percentile, about 20% of them on the 80th percentile, and 10%, um, 70 percentile and below. The national norm for math is at the 50th percentile. So you can kind of imagine how well our students are doing. Um, in language, is very similar, 65% in the 90th percentile. 30% in the 80th percentile, and about 5% uh, in the less than 70, 70th percentile. So our vision, very long paragraph, but essentially, whatever our children choose to do in their life, whatever path that they take in their profession or their personal lives, we want them to do that with the light of Allah, and we want to plant that seed of love for Allah SWT in their hearts. And then ways for you to get involved. 
definitely join us at one of our events. We have an amazing autumn festival in November, and then we have an amazing annual fundraising dinner in March, as well as theater nights and lots and lots of different types of activities. You can support us with your time and financial resources. You can definitely attend one of our Ad Fontes events for parents, which happens on the last Tuesday of every month. It's on our Facebook page, so look it up. We have amazing speakers that come there. And last but not least, contact information, peaceterrace.org, info is at peaceterrace.org, and then our number. We do have Instagram as well as Facebook, so go ahead and like us like the pages, see the children, everything that they're doing, mashallah, they're doing amazing things, we're so proud of them, and uh, really proud of our growing community, alhamdulillah. So, uh, with that said, I will end. I'm Thank so you. sorry if I took longer. No, you're good. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> alhamdulillah. Thank you. Round of applause. Bless you.